Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome back. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Salt Squidward, for gifting a sub to Comic Brook, who is the uh, the artist behind the lovely background image there for the starting soon screen. Thank you so much, Salt Squidward, 29 total. Um, we are here with the long-awaited, not only the Cage Trio's bracket, but the return of the man, the myth, the legend, Kiwi. He is ready. He is ready to go, making his grand um, out-of-retirement appearance on the cage trios bracket we got 64 cage trios and that sounds like a lot and it is there's a lot of stretches on there and uh we're gonna we're gonna talk them through we're gonna figure out which one's the best um before we get into that we have a summit trivia this is the debut trivia by snarling apollo it is cage quote or rock slash metal lyric uh, let me get the code on screen and i'll explain to you what this is all about let's see here <laughs> yeah he retired he retired at the age of 27 very proud of Kiwi. <clears throat> um, so basically, I uh, I looked at the description for this quiz. I was um, I was incorrect about how I advertised it last stream. It's not like the Taylor Swift format. Basically, you just see the quote, and it's either is this KH or is it uh, a rock or metal lyric. So it's not like there's fake ones. Uh, well, there there could be. I mean. It's either going to be, you see a real cage quote, or you see a, a, a real rock or metal quote, and then you just pick which one it is. Um, so it's it's a yes or no, or a, a or B. Not uh, find the real one amidst the fakes. So it might be a little bit easier. It's a 50-50 each time. So um, give it a shot. I'm excited. I wouldn't say that, you know, KH, uh, or rather uh, rock slash metal is like my genre, but, you know, KH is my favorite series, so I should be able to discern which ones are real? We'll see. Yes, Barnabas did do the Anthem of the Wise voice in uh, my my best moments video. Video. Uh, I uh, I've known that Barnabas could do that voice for a good while now, and I've basically been waiting waiting for an excuse to um to deploy him. And uh, I, I guess Gorillaz is more of a I would say it's more of an alt band, like an alternative. It's really I don't even know what you would call it. It's like a pop trip pop like especially the earlier albums uh i don't really know alternative trip pop we'll call it <coughs> um what's up vodka guess he was in first after the short program is that like oh i thought i thought the short program was like something that you partake in vodka because of your your height um three-time world champion shoma uno here we come girlies got it got it so the short program is not like something that you were in as a child <laughs> I understand. Cool, cool, cool. Two shots. Congratulations to uh, to Shoma, Shoma Uno, my favorite figure skater. The only other one I know is Dick Buttons. Um, is Dick Buttons still with us, Vaka? Let me uh, do a bit of a Wikipedia there. He is. He's 94, um, and now he's a skating analyst. Uh, maybe he probably doesn't do anything anymore, right? Um, yeah, he is. Why'd you... <laughs> you calling him Pound Dick Buttons? Is that his, uh... <laughs> when I control F Pound on his Wikipedia page, that does not come up. Um, he has a Twitter called Pound Dick Button. Okay. Alright, interesting. That's a choice. Um... <laughs> Listen, him and Shom Shoma Uno, they're my top two. So... He brought increased athleticism to figure skating in the years following World War II. Good for him. All right, none of these words are in the Bible. <laughs> really, there's no dick or buttons in the Bible? They gotta rewrite it. We're due, aren't we? Aren't we due for a newer testament? All right, a lot of, uh, a lot of attention on the book it. That's exciting. Let me get in here. Um, I'll do, well, first of all, the code, 7141596. Oh, in other news, I chipped a tooth. I'm not going to be able to get it fixed for, like, a good bit. So, if you see me looking, um, a bit hillbilly-esque, that's why. Um, not thrilled about that. Straight on my bo bottom here. Um, <clears throat> what should I be? Um, what's a rock or metal band? Um, how about... Anthrax Patty? <laughs> that's the first that's the first one that came to mind. Um, ironically, I was eating an apple to keep the doctor away. And now I gotta go to the dentist, so fuck me. 
Um, yeah, good thing it's not cage two teeth percent on Tuesdays. That's I'm grateful for that. Um, yeah, chip the rest of them. Yeah, you know. it's uh, it's unfortunate. I think I'm gonna have that for my anniversary. I won't be able to get it fixed by then, so that sucks. Anyway, let's get into the trivia. This is uh, again by Snarling Apollo. You will see one quote at the top, and you got to pick: is that cage or is that rock or metal? No, no, it was it was just a regular apple. Um, I, it was uh, a cosmic crisp. So I mean, I have bad teeth, so that's uh, that was to be expected. My mom, my dad, my uh, my aunt, my uncles—they all have uh, crowns. Um, shitty Irish teeth lineage. So what can you do? All right, let's do it. <clears throat> all right, your body submits, your heart succumbs. So why does your mind resist? Is that cage quote or rock metal lyric? No, I like Cosmic Crisp, even though it hurt me. Um, I don't know if I like it more than Honey Crisp, but it's up there. That's right, it's a cage quote from uh, Terranort. I hope Pat is playing this. He might learn something about women <laughs> and music. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell them. I mean, really, it would have been, if it was any apple, I, I probably still would have chipped the tooth, so. Um, it wasn't actually that I was, that eating the apple caused it. Like, eating the apple caused me to feel like I had something stuck in my teeth, so I, like, I thought I had something in it, and I started picking at it, and I was like, oh, that's actually the, uh, the face of one of my teeth. Great stuff. Number two. Uh, the time has come to realize what you are, what you've done inside. I didn't rip it out, I, I kind of mistakenly nudged it out, <laughs> I guess. Well, I'm not proud of it. Yeah, this did not seem familiar to me, so I picked Lyric. Alright, number three. <clears throat> so much to do, so little time. Take your time, don't be afraid. Yoko Shimomura when told the remix back to the heavens for Remind. That's right. That is goddamn correct. The tooth face is out of the tube now. <laughs> you're, you're so correct. Uh, yes, this is um, like the very first uh, words that are provided to you, I believe, um, in the white text from Mickey in the uh, Dive to the Heart. So it's not spoken, it's written. But it is the Mickey text, yeah. Number four. <clears throat> Um, come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here looking at nothing but what's in your tiny world? KH or rock slash metal? <coughs> God damn. What? <laughs> okay, like... I, I said rock slash metal. Um, who says this? Like, it makes sense. I just thought, oh, what a, what a coincidence. Um, Den Den said this. Uh, most listened to genres of Orc 13 members. Zemnis listens to classic heavy metal. Zigbar is surf rock. Zaldin is uh, trash metal. Vexen is black metal. Uh, Alexius is doom metal. Zexian is progressive metal. Syx is power metal. Axel is new metal. Demex is funk rock. Luxor is blues rock. Marluxia is glam rock. Uh, Larxene is women led punk rock. Roxas is a child and therefore not allowed to listen to rock music, but she listens to metalcore. <laughs> there you go. Um, so who says this? Do we know? Um, some Ansem yapping? That makes sense. Well, I'll, I'll accept that. Okay. Number five. <clears throat> Ooh, no, wait, fuck. I am formless. You cannot destroy me. Uh, I don't know. Um, fuck. Is that one of the darknesses from fucking Cucks? Yeah. God damn it. As soon as I hit the lyric, I was like, that's a darkness. Uh, Cage fandom when Cage 4 reveals that Sora is the child of destiny, Demix's mom, and Kyrie's grandma is Jalencia. It really puts perspective on things, though, doesn't it? Yeah, too much. There's too much fucking perspective now. <laughs> I, I would agree. I would agree wholeheartedly. Way too much perspective. Alright, checking in here at 5. <clears throat> That'd be really bad. Jackie, Esper, Olau, Nine Inch Seb, and Ninjelly. Number six. You're better off empty and blank than left with a single pathetic trace of this. Me in the present day, still going online to find the worst music you've ever heard in your life. Yeah, that did not ring familiar to me, so I went with the lyric. 
Look at that. That's from GIF, GIFMemes.io. Classic one-stop shop for Sora typing reaction GIFs. Number seven. When I heard that he was gone, I felt a shadow cro <laughs> cross my heart. Sorry, getting very girded today. <coughs> North's at work. <laughs> so that did not seem familiar. Who can it be now? Who can it be now? Look at me. All, all, me and all my Norts. The boys. Number eight. Your light shines far too brightly. It must be extinguished for the truth to be seen. Well, I guess it must be KH, because Vodka knows it. <laughs> Why did I not... I'm one of the four people. He said it was the lyric, because this is not familiar to me. Larxene's dominance. Not to be mistaken with Larxene's demise. Eee! Oh, God. <laughs> That's so good. I almost missed that. <laughs> eee! Um, it's Zemnis. What, is it from Dream Drop, or is it from 2? Or 3? Start a Keyblade Graveyard in 3, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Fuck. I'm so dumb. Alright, I'm, like, out of contention for this one now. Number 9. Join me in this un eternal nightmare, untarnished by light. Lushu, formerly Bragg, and the Foretellers. <laughs> um, see, that one I got. Um... Join me in this eternal nightmare untarnished by light. I don't know who said it, but I know it's KH. Um, is it... Someone in Dream Drop, right? Um, although it couldn't be, like... It couldn't be ABC or Anti... Or uh, Armored Ventus Nightmare. Let me look that up real quick. Wayfinderproject.com Memory Archive. We'll type in the word untarnished. It could be from a text-based thing that we don't have in the database yet, but let me see. Uh, it might be, because it's not giving me anything. Well, never mind. Maybe it's Union Cross? Although I have Union Cross stuff in there now. Um, hmm. Okay, never mind. I don't know. Bad advertisement for Wayfinder Project. It's not in there yet. Number 10. <clears throat> But my dreams, they aren't as empty as my conscience seems to be. Castle Oblivion, the organization. It's beautiful. I like how Lark's scene is the one 3D render there. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. And then, yeah, ABC doesn't speak. Um, there you go, rock slash metal. Checking in at 10 there. <clears throat> yeah, Armor Ventus Nightmare, same voice actor as KH3 Zaldan. It's Esper, Ace, Ninjelly, Jackie, and Olao, number 11. Be grateful you have someone to keep you company. Your heart is empty. Um, ew, I'm tied with Pat. Sorry, Vodka. Sorry, Worsty. Happens to the worst of us. Um, that feels like, yeah, cage quote. Don't know, again, who. Um, I feel like any of the villains, like, all of their, all their dark splaining really gets, uh, lost in the shuffle for me. Uh, number 12. To take possession, to take your heart, turn your part into a farce. Um, well, that one's pretty rhythmic. <laughs> that one's pretty rhymey. Uh, come guardian, seekers of darkness. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at his flowing locks. Yeah, that's a lyric. Um, wow. <laughs> Look at his hair. It's so beautiful. Alright, number 13. It wasn't real and all, but it was fun. What's up, Moon? You don't like my poshed? My bad. <laughs> bump, bada, bump, bump. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where you guys are getting the quote from. That does not sound familiar at all. Um, we are Apollo. We've had questions about where some of the quotes come from. Where was the one that was like, "Join me in this eternal nightmare, untarnished by light"? I couldn't find where that came from. Uh, number fourteen. <laughs> An existence created from empty dreams. We got Olette. <laughs> I like this, the crew and then the, the 5,000 money. 
Sephiroth from- Oh, that's why, because it was text, and that's why it's not in the Wayfinder project, because it's a text bubble from KH1. He says that in the final mix scene where he has his arms out and he's talking to Cloud in the uh, in the arena before they fight. Um, wow, I got that one. Rock slash metal lyric. 15. <clears throat> With no power, you had nothing to do. He still remembers, don't you? See, when I read these out loud, I feel like some of them <laughs> are a little spoiled. Some of them, I'm totally in the dark, but... <coughs> yeah, it rhymed. That is a rock metal lyric. Alright, 15. Let's see. We got Esper, me, Olau, My Chemical Tune, and Jackie... 16. Hmm. I'm not the one you know. Tell me, does it matter if I'm still here? I am me, he says. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Don't worry, Esther, I won't I won't get there. That is a rock slash metal lyric. Seventeen. There's no saving you, you've paid the price, and it lies at the bottom of the abyss. Is that a quote or lyric? I think I know. <clears throat> Definitely an OLED quote. <laughs> There's no saving you. Uh, yeah, that I believe is Young Xehanort in KH3. Or it could be Dream Drop, yeah. Uh, is it? It's in 3, there you go. Yeah, it's probably before... Or maybe it's when they're in San Fran, in uh, the Lich chase. 18. I dug myself into this hole and almost dragged you in with me. Now I'll pay for what I've done. Let's see, we got Keyblade Graveyard. <laughs> wow. All the bad guys are up there, all the good guys chilling out. Ooh! Who the fuck says this? Probably Jiminy. <laughs> uh, who is this, Apollo? Horse, horse collar. <laughs> Cloud from Coded. That explains why I didn't recognize it. Um, see, the What I've Done made me think of Linkin Park, so... Cloud's uh, favorite band. Number 19. <clears throat> Agony is the price that you'll pay. In the end, domination consumes you. Bow. Bow, bow. Dark Domination? With the bad loop? I don't think so. I think it's a lyric. Yeah. Alright. Number 20. Time to pop off. Your heart is just painting the picture that it so wants to see. The real me is lost in shadow. High wind. Let's see. Sailing the oceans between. <laughs> You got the Gummy Ship, King Triton, the Dread Shark, and the Schwarzgeist. The Big Four. Um, that is a quote. Seems like a nominee. Oh, Terra. Terra in 0.2. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, when he's, uh, he's an apparition. Okay. 21. <clears throat> And all that is lost, sound or unsound, only bonds between you and me. The Lost Trio. <laughs> lost Trio's in there. They're in there. They're not seated super highly. Uh, yes, that is a lyric, because I did not recognize it. 22. <clears throat> They think the power of love will save them. That's the stuff of poetry, not practicality. Olet, Zexian, and the Moogle. You know, oddly enough, that's not on the bracket. Sea salt ice cream. Three, five, eight days. <laughs> Overdue. That's my metal um, vocalist voice. Or like just Rupert from Survivor. Um, yeah, that is a cage quote. I believe that is uh, Zaldan in Days. Look at the little goblin um, Probably no on the crime. day called Love, also hi Greeny, um, when uh, you, you've just beaten the Infernal Engine uh, on the bridge. 23. <clears throat> Let me catch my breath, I've heard the promises, I've seen the mistakes. 
Bow. Oh yeah, how is it, Moon? You enjoying it? I think it holds up decently. Maybe not everything, but some of it. <clears throat> that is a lyric. A little, uh, little rhythmic there. All right, final question, 24. Once you've fallen that far, there's almost no coming back. Demix time. <laughs> well, yo, nice. We love a good Lexius slapping Roxas. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. That's his best scene. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. I was one of the four who got it wrong. Again? What's up, Splash? Who says this? Who says once you've fallen that far, there's almost no coming back? I have no idea. Riku and Dream Drop? Ah, it's Dream Drop. That's why. That's why. Okay, I'm lacking. I think I might have fallen off. Finally, officially this time. Okay. Let's uh let's see our leaderboard in third place. It's Olau. In second, it's Jackie. And in first, it's Esper. Get that double fanfare. Here it comes. Still haven't fixed it. It's been like four or five months of that, I think. In fourth place, it's me. In fifth, it's Short Vodka. And then for our top ten, My Chemical, Furutune in sixth. In seventh, it's Ace. Ace in eighth, it's Sib. In ninth, it's Sir Orin. And in tenth, it is Oracle. Congratulations to Esper. Thank you to Snarling Apollo. A great debut look at. Also, thank you to Booma for the follow there. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Um, double crossing. There's the Esper drop. Shout out to uh, Survivor Ultima Island. Um, all right, let's see. I'm gonna say this was a. I mean, I got a lot of these wrong. I got fourth, but um, I'm gonna say 57 percent, 68. Yeah, that's that's my fourth place speaking. All right, we'll do the hurdle, and then I will get Kiwi on the line, and we'll do the trio bracket. That's gotta be. It's either organization 13 or another side. <sighs> I'm just gonna... I feel like Other Side was kind of recent, so... Fuck. Really? It could be the battle version? Fuck off. <laughs> Another Side battle ver. So... Maybe I could have been able to tell if I waited a couple more seconds? I don't know. That sucks. <laughs> All right, that is it for the hurdle. Let's uh, let me get the uh, bracket ready. We'll do the uh, the intro. I'll get Kiwi on the line. Okay. Uh, so bye, Vod people. <laughs>